Nicaragua convicts seven more opposition leaders of conspiracy. Nicaraguan judges have convicted seven opposition leaders, including former high-level Sandinistas and three former presidential contenders, of conspiracy to undermine national integrity. Mexico City, Nicaraguan judges on Wednesday convicted seven opposition leaders, including former high-level Sandinistas and three former presidential contenders, of conspiracy to undermine national integrity. A spokesperson for the Civic Alliance Opposition Coalition said the seven included Felix Maradiaga, Juan Sebastián Chamorro and the Central American countries. Former ambassador to the United States, Arturo Cruz Sequeira. All three had been planning to run in the November 7 presidential elections before the government of President Daniel Ortega arrested them and around 40 other. With all of them in custody, Ortega cruised to winning a fourth consecutive presidential term in November elections widely criticized by the international. The string of recent trials of opposition figures has been carried out in the infamous Chipotle prison. The defendants have only been permitted to have their lawyers present. The trials have been full of violations of the law and violations of rights and due process, and therefore they are null and void trials that have issued Null sentences, the Civic Alliance said in a statement. Cruz Sequeira, 68, was one of three opposition figures suffering from health problems who were ordered to home confinement last week, after another imprisoned. Opponent died following months of incarceration. Former Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister José Pelé, 68, was convicted Wednesday. He has also been granted house arrest. Also convicted were business leader. Josedin Aguirre, Violeta Granera and opposition leader Tamara de Villa. Prosecutors claimed the seven had attempted to conspire against Ortega's government by participating in a WhatsApp chat with a U.S.-based political analyst. Manuel Orozco. Most of those convicted so far by Nicaraguan judges have later been sentenced to 13 years in prison. Those already sentenced include Victor Hugo Tinoco, who was Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister during the first Sandinista government in 1979 but later split with Ortega. Tinoco also served as Nicaragua's ambassador to the United Nations and was the lead negotiator in peace talks with the U.S.-backed Contras. Hugo Torres, a former Sandinista guerrilla leader who once led a raid that helped free then-rebel Ortega from prison, died while awaiting trial. He was 73. Thousands have fled into exile since Nicaraguan security forces violently put down anti-government protests in 2018. Ortega says the protests were actually an attempted coup with foreign backing, and many of those on trial have been accused of working with foreign powers for his overthrow or encouraging foreign nations to apply sanctions on members of his family and government.